Hey guys, so I actually just wanted to share something um, that personally helps me. Um, as you all know, if you've heard my story or you've been following me, um, you know a big part of my story and my transition um, in my life has actually um, been with my depression and my anxiety. Um, something that I still go through every day, but I've learned through certain skills to help cope a little bit better. Um, one of those things is me getting in the gym and I can really, really tell if I've been missing, you know, some time in between, um, my body is just like, bleh, and feels gross and it just really needs to get my endorphins going. Um, so I heard this today and it totally makes sense and totally like made me rethink being like, you know. I've been so busy recently that I have cut back from doing um, my five day workouts to three days. And I'm like, you know, this isn't a valid excuse. And this really put it into perspective for me. Um, a one hour workout is 4% of your day, like literally 4% of it. Like, okay, I can definitely do one hour a day. I mean, whether it's just going out, you know, for a walk or jumping on the treadmill or lifting weights like I know I love to do. Um, but just getting my heart rate up, especially cardio, truly helps me get those endorphins going um, and helps me brighten my mood. My personal struggle with depression and anxiety um, since, you know, childhood years um, has never been like, I've never had suicidal thoughts, things like that, but traditional medicine just doesn't work well for, with me and um, as far as the SSRIs, things like that, they just don't work for me. Um, not saying that they're not going to work for you and you shouldn't consult a doctor um, if that's something you truly are struggling with, but for me, it just doesn't work. Uh, my diet um, is very important um, with my depression and my anxiety. Um, you know, my time at the gym, my personal time, like, you know, if I have a lot of stress, I feel like, you know, that there's like literally an elephant on my chest. And um, the more that I um, reading books and surrounding myself with the right people who are encouraging me um, and the more that I'm doing my exercises the better that I feel um, so I just wanted to share that with y'all um, some food for thought um, as far as you know your depression and anxiety like if you want to know inf more information about like me personally what I do um, on more of a non-traditional um, medication approach I'd be happy to share that with you, um, but that's beyond the gym and beyond, you know, staying hydrated and filling in nutritional gaps and, you know, making sure I have the right balanced meals on a daily basis because if I fall in those areas, that's when I feel like, you know, the anxiety does creep back into my life. Um, but learning what I've learned so far, it's truly helped me and I hope it helps you too. Uh, but keep going strong and I You know, I've been there and I understand how it feels to literally not even want to get out of bed um, in the morning just because it's so overcoming, you know, but Truly like getting out there and doing this is gonna help benefit your life because it's benefited mine um, So just know that you're not alone um, in this process and I just want you all to know that I love you and I care about you and I thank you so much for following me. Um, but have a good week and we will talk more soon. Um, quick note before I go though, there's some really crazy exciting things that I've got coming for y'all. So stay tuned if you, you know, kind of wondered what I personally do as far as my workout, my routine. You know, what I do as far as, you know filling in nutritional gaps, how I meal prep, those kind of things. So those are all things that are coming up. So keep watching, y'all, and um, I will talk to you soon.